so this is the Fujifilm XC4 with 15 to 45 I'm using the pro neck high the exposure is at zero I'm holding the camera from the lens I want to do a test or evening test I mean the Sun is go going to be down just in a half hour I just want to see the low light capability also I want to see the OIS in the lens I'm using the Audio Technica 1899 microphone which is a mono tiltable microphone which is super tiny again I'm just holding the camera from the lens it seems quite nice isn't it let me just do it like I'm holding my my food bag because I'm going to the night shift again this is the 15 to 45 OIS only the reason I love the XC4 is not due to the size it's due to the tilt up screen I personally prefer the XS10 much more it's very comfortable I mean the grip is amazing where this camera do not have any kind of comfort it just wanna slide personally I have used this kind of slim camera this kind of stylish camera such as the Lumpus Pen Pen 9, Pen 10, EP7 again those cameras never slip from your hand you only Canon M6 Mark II super I mean ergonomic in your hand it's quite I mean grippy and it's quite easy to I mean hold the camera in your hand without fear of slipping Fujifilm X10 on the other hand just wanna slide from your hand let me repeat it just wanna slide from your hand I don't wanna add on a grip because it will increase the weight what is the purpose of getting on camera something later you have to add something maybe I will getting like a peak design cup or something like that for peak design strap I hope it's doing quite good and how good is autofocus let me just switch around and show you again this is the pro neck this is the pro neck let me just increase the exposure compensation to plus one plus two and zero this is just the OIS yeah I know there's no iPad the reason I'm testing this combo is this number one is wide 15 to 45 millimeter 50 millimeter is around 22 it's around 22 millimeter full frame equivalent and especially uh, the, I mean the OIS I heard is very good because on Fujifilm XS10 I couldn't turn off the iPad just to see how well is the OIS in 15 to 45 is performing so right now we can figure it out so now let me just go to the train station let me do a quick zoom test so this is a zoom test again I'm using the pro neck high exposure compensation plus one zero okay that's enough so right now I'm recording on the pro neck high and I switched the microphone to Arduino Technica 809911 which is a stereo microphone before I was using the mono Audio Technica 89912 so I'm just going to buy a drink let me just show you around now now the time is around 6 30 p.m. is around the ducks dusk time so the sun is nearly down okay and then let me just grab a grab, grab a drink and then show you about it okay let me see which drink I have to grab so there's a lot of drinks I have no idea which drink should I grab some lemon tea maybe I should just grab this lemon tea maybe this one will be okay this is for around 
वन यू एस डॉलर एंड लेट मी जस्ट कौन डू द पेमेंट सो द एक्सपोजर आई हैव सेट अप टू प्लस वन So this is a Japanese store where you can buy nearly every kind of sweet, biscuit, and drinks such as this lemon tea. This is again by Hong Kong or by Japan. This lemon tea. Okay. Okay. And you can see there are some sweet biscuits. What about? Second is the profile. Audio Technica AT nine nine one one stereo microphone. Personally, I prefer the mono version of it. Again, I'm holding the camera from the lens. How good is the? How good is the stabilization? Let me just walk slowly. So how good is auto focus? Everything has stock setting. I did not change. Just out of the box, everything is stock. The profile, the auto focus sensitivity, everything is stock. So, so it's going to rain. So yeah, the sun is nearly down, nearly down. Just like few minutes left before it will become completely dark. How good is the OIS? And how good is that? Oh yes, so I'm right now at 8,000, 10,000 oh yes, so. This is the internal profile. I'm using the Audio Technica AT9 11 mono microphone. 200 megabits per second DCI 4K. Uh, exposure compensation plus 1. Let me just go to plus 3. Sorry. Yeah, plus. Okay, this is plus 3. And yeah, this is plus 3 and let me just go to 0. This is zero. Let me go to plus one. So yeah, so this is the plus one. How good is the stabilization? Let me just hold the camera from the grip. So yeah, now right now I'm holding the camera from the grip. I really love the lightweight, but the camera is very slippery. There is no way. I mean, it's comfortable. I don't understand what went wrong with Fuji. If, in my opinion, the best camera body, especially a tilt-up compact camera body, is Canon M6 Mark II. Amazing body, amazing grip. Even the A6600 have a much chunkier grip. I love it. I don't understand why. Or even they can copy the Olympus EPL10, EPL9, EP7 camera. At least put some kind of grippy texture. Some, I mean. I love this camera. I love it. Can shoot DCI 4K 200 bits per second. Wow! But it's very slippery. I'm holding the camera from its uh, its body. Again, there's no grip. Um, I just want to say I'm holding from the grip. I think you get the point. I'm just holding the camera from the body rather than from the lens right now. I hope you like and make sure to let me know in the comment section box below. Bye.